Hey guys, um, some people are still struggling on correcting their answers for the first and second assignments that we did. So I'm going to try and do a little demonstration of the number line technique to help you guys out. Um, I'm going to turn on the presentation function so you can see what I'm writing down. Um, well, uh, wish me luck. Okay, just have a little patience. And here we go. So on the first problem, it said that, um, well, that's not the right page, huh? To look at the document, it says, that Mighty came to school on Thursdays. He arrived at school at 8.30 a.m. and he stayed until 4 p.m. So we want to write down those two times to try and get an idea of what we're doing. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera back on. So you can see I've got those two times written down. We want to make a number line. Most of you guys have made a number line in the past, so this won't be something that's new for you, but using it for time might be. Okay, so 8.30 a.m., the closest hour to that is 8 a.m. And we want to go down by hours until we get to 4 p.m. So we got 9, 10, 11, 12, Remember, at 12, we start over at 1 again. So it's a little different than an average number line because we have that 12 issue right there. All right, so if we're going from 8.30 a.m., first we're going to start out halfway between 8 and 9, right? That halfway, that's going to give us a half hour. The rest of these are all going to be full hours, right? So as we go down the number line, we want to count how many full hours we just went. We went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full hours. And then we had this half hour sticking around. You remember how many minutes are in a half hour? A half of 60 is the same as dividing 60 by 2 which gives us 30 minutes. So if we're going to write that out, we're going to say that he is at school seven hours and 30 minutes. So that's the answer to problem number one. Most of the other, uh, of the people who got this problem wrong also struggled with questions three, and the last question. So we're going to look over here and read that real fast. Um, question three, Mighty needs breaks during the day. One Thursday, students walked him at 10.30 a.m. for 10 minutes. Afterwards, Mighty had three back-to-back -back classes that ended at 12.15 p.m. How long was he in class in total? So his in-class time doesn't count his break time which means that we started at not 10.30, but 10 minutes after that. So what time do I get if I am having my break time added on to 10.30? I know that the zeros add together to be zero. Three plus one is four. So he didn't go back to class until 10.40 a.m. Now we want to see how much time passed between 10.40 and 12.15. This time we should probably start out at 10.40 and then go by 10 minute increments until we get to where we need to go. So at 10.40, 10 minutes later would be 10.50. Then we wouldn't write 10.60. Think about what 60 minutes is. 60 minutes is an hour, right? So this would be 11 o'clock. 
We can also see that if we looked at a regular clock on the wall. So we went to 1040, 1050, 10 minutes later is 11 o'clock, 1110, 1120, 1130, 1140, 1150, and then the same kind of thing happens when we go 10 minutes more than 1150, we're going to end up at 12. We are almost up to 12 minutes or 1215. We know if we go 10 more minutes, that's going to be 1210. And then if we went 10 more minutes, that would be 1220. The time that we stop, though, is right here, which is only five minutes past 1210. All right, so starting with our 1040, we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, because we had 10 minutes for each bump. So 90 minutes plus the five minutes that it takes to get from 12, uh, from 12.10 to 12.15. 90 plus five is going to be 95 minutes. You could also write that because if you take out 60 minutes, that is one hour, and that leaves 15 minutes left over. So we could write that as one hour and 15 minutes, or as 95 minutes. Okay, so we're going to look at the last problem. The last problem... kind of relies on some of our previous knowledge. So let's flip back over to the page, and it says, teachers have 45 minutes at the beginning of the school day and 30 minutes at the end of the school day to spend with Mighty. So the first thing that we want to do is total that up. We know we have our 45 minutes, and we have 30 more minutes. So if we look at the camera... And we add those together because we know they're totaling that together. 5 plus 0 is going to give us 5. 4 plus 3 is 7. They get a total of 75 minutes at the beginning of school uh, and the end together, which is a total of, we take away that 60, we know it's going to be 1 hour and 15 minutes that Mighty spends with the teachers. They want to know how much time Mighty spends with the students. So what we have to do is look back at the answer to number one, because that's how much he's at school in total. If we look at what we got for that answer, we got um, seven hours and 30 minutes. in total that he is at school. So what we want to do is take away the time that he spends with adults. We are going to subtract the one hour and the 15 minutes. 30 minus 15 gives us 15 minutes. 7 minus 1 gives us six hours. This is the answer to the last problem. So give that a try. Um, hopefully that'll make things a little bit more clear. And similar things you're going to need to do on that second problem, or second sheet of answers. So I'll do that as a separate video. Thanks a lot, and I'll 
See you next time.